Hey Dumpling, it's Steve Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to jump into why Jimin likes this certain woman as a wife. I think this is a very interesting one. Jimin is an amazing person and deserves to get what he wants. We're also going to be getting into Big Hit kind of taking some legal action on people breaking the rules. They recently just put out a statement, so we're going to get into El Zaddy's statement. Let's jump into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when some new video drops. And if you use a hater, I'd like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification but also so you can be the first to do so now let's get into it the first thing that we should talk about is definitely going to be jimon jimin the gymster i definitely want to get into some context and i also want to get into jimin's ideal woman jimin along with the other members of bts spoke at an interview a little while back and this was at mbc's music idol true colors this was at a time where i guess bts kind of felt just a little bit more comfortable talking about things like that being more open to the idea of kind of sharing more about what they like they were also definitely not as popular as they are now. Nowadays, questions like this will be avoided like the plague, and they would pretty much just say that they're dating armies or that armies are their type. Basically, nowadays, they're scared of saying anything in case it offends or hurts anybody, and that some people might actually end up getting hate for it. So the fact that they are just so cautious of everything that they say, and they are cautious so they don't hurt anyone, I definitely agree with this action. I definitely think that they are great role models. But anywho, Jimin, along with the other members of BTS, did give us a little bit of cute information on what they look for in a girl. So if you are a girl, you can be these things that BTS likes and like legally I believe they have to marry you just because these are the things that they said and you are those things you know I'm kidding don't harass them but Jimin said that he would really like someone who is really cute and he usually falls for someone like that someone with like an odd charm about them probably into the whole shy girl thing quirky type lucky for me I am a shy girl who is also quirky so check but I ain't cute. He also mentions that he tends to kind of fall for these type of girls. He describes it as like a whimsical attraction. Ugh, what a beautiful way to just admit that me and him are married and that he loves me. I definitely went over on the tweets though to see what other people have to say about Jimin and his type and all that stuff. And one person wrote, Jimin's ideal type, nice and cute girls that are smaller than him, LMAO. And I never thought about this. Jimin actually looks very tall to me. Everyone calls him short, but he doesn't appear short on camera. Like I can't imagine him only being like, like, yay hot. But he probably would want a girl that's shorter than him. So all you shorter girls out there, you definitely have a shot with Jimin. And since I believe that I am taller than Jimin, I'm going to be cutting off my legs. I'll save my legs over there in case someone wants someone a little bit taller. You know, in case Jimin and I don't work out. I think Jimin's type is also one of the ones that are most vague. Like some of the other ones have very specific things what they would like in a girl. But keep in mind that some of this stuff is definitely a little while ago. Maybe their tastes have changed. Maybe Jimin likes taller women like me now. But V or Taeyang Zaddy mentioned his type of girl, saying he likes girls that are a little bit different from everyone else, someone who is on the pure side. So no baddies, no insta baddies apparently. I will throw away all my leather jackets and all that stuff for you Taeyang. He also wants someone according to J-Hope who will make him like hot chocolate. So when V wakes up in the morning, he got some hot chocolate there for him. V also continued by saying that he wants someone that would take care of him like a mother would. Okay, okay, but hear me out. I would do that for you. I do believe he'd be very easy to take care of. I can't imagine that Taeyang would be super high maintenance, you know? We also found out that in the soup, I think I've seen this a couple times on like Bon Voyage too. These are BTS's reality shows, by the way, if you didn't know. But I've seen a couple times on these shows when Taeyang actually washes the dishes. He is basically a dad for the boys. So he doesn't really need like a mother type, does he? He would be the mother type. I can definitely imagine him taking care of his partner and his kids and him doing that very, very well. I honestly believe that he would probably put families first and do anything he can for them, which is great. But then a little bit later, he was on Mnet, and I believe this was on M Countdown. He was asked his like ideal type, and it did change a little bit. He said he wants someone that spends his money very carefully. I don't know if this is true, because I can't really find the original video, but this is what people have been saying online. And boo boo, Hanse, I'll get a job. I don't need your money. I just want your love. I'm probably gonna cringe watching that back. But for Tang to want a mother that is cheap, you can totally find that. That's like a lot of us. He's just looking at the wrong places. Like if all you're looking at is on Instagram, then you're not gonna find these women. Tay Tay, look in my direction. I wanted to go over on the tweets there to see what people were talking about. One person wrote this. 
Kang's ideal type is a girl who uses his money wisely. Is spending money on Bang Chang considered wise? I mean, if I spent my money on Tay Tay or BTS, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. He would think it's a good investment. I'd go ahead and buy 2 million copies. You know, his new mixtape that's coming out. We'll keep it at number one with the 2 million copies. It's not out yet, I don't believe, but when it is, 2 million copies. Overall, BTS is definitely known to be an awesome person, and they really deserve to be with someone that they love and is attracted to. They're very kind people, which makes it really hard to understand why they get the hate that they do. I think the hate has definitely been worse this time around. I think it's been worse for a lot of people, just due to the pandemic and people having so much time on their hands, just sit there and give hate. Recently, actually, armies were really upset at the lack of action that Big Hit was taking or what they thought was a lack of action, but it's just a lot of stuff that Big Hit can't actually talk about. Also, Big Hit is doing a lot more than what other labels do. I think other labels only start to beef up security just when death threats happen. And then after that, most of them don't do anything. I don't want to say names, but I think you know what label I'm talking about. I think you know quite a few. Big Hit, on the other hand, they're taking some actions on some illegal things and disgusting things that are happening. Some of these things like death threats and claims of abuse, like BTS abusing someone. These are not just your like run of the mill things. This is not like, oh, they're ugly, I hate their music. These are illegal things to say. So Big Hit did put out a statement. I'm not gonna sit here and read the whole thing because it is kind of long. I'm gonna sit here and talk about some of the little bits and pieces that I found interesting. They mentioned how they were taking action on some groundless information, talking about harassment and personal attacks against the members, and of course defamation. The fact that they get to these things is crazy to me. Apparently on July 30th to September 1st, the Korean court or something ruled that someone did take part in doing all these awful things and had repeatedly engaged in doing these awful things and then was charged 4 million won, which is about $3,400 US. That's a lot of money. And apparently also cases like this, depending on how bad those things that were said, can have up to one or two years in prison. And apparently some of these people who've had police investigation on on them still continue to talk and say the things that they are saying. Those people will be looked at further apparently. First of all, why, why would these kids take the time out of their day to just sit there and repeatedly post awful things about another human being after being told to stop? I don't know about Korean law. In American law, you do have to tell someone to stop before you go ahead and take legal action. So these people are continuously doing this after being told to legally stop. You have to have some audacity to do this. I don't understand these people. I also can't imagine it's adults doing this. It has to be kids. And I swear if my kids was doing that, I would probably choke them. Like to know that my kid is out there saying these things? Adults are likely going to have jobs, so they're not gonna sit there and probably say anything. And most adults, if they are truly upset, they'll just make a post talking about that particular thing that they're upset about. They're not gonna sit there and make death threats or make up lies. I think what Big Hit is doing is something that a lot of labels have kind of refused to do. It could be really changing the K-pop industry. This is like the most attacked industry out there. And a lot of celebrities feel the brunt of it in K-pop. In America, a lot of celebrities take legal action on really, really awful things that are being said. And basically people know to not say those things anymore. I hope in a few years that all kids who are into K-pop will understand this as well. That you can't just go online and bully someone. Since apparently that's not common knowledge now. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comments section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comment. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there on my Patreon and check out some exclusive content. Over there, it's things that I can't really post here, like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, copyrighted things. I'm also doing like reality TV reactions, like in the soup and all that stuff. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. Anything you contribute over there also kind of gives back to this channel, helps me like spend more time making this stuff and spend more time researching and all that stuff. So I really do hope you go ahead and check it out. I have a video over there that explains that a little bit further. Link in the top of the description down below. With that said, there are two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of the video. Click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.